have this from Benjamin Albright, who covers the Broncos, does an excellent job. He said, sources confirm that multiple teams have called inquiring about wide receiver Jerry Judy. Now, the price tag remains high for Jerry Judy. The team's asking for a first or a high second plus a player. Apparently, the teams that have inquired about him are the Patriots, the Browns, and our very own Dallas Cowboys, who also were interested at the trade deadline last year for Judy. Now, gentlemen, for me, I like Jerry Judy. I think he's a good player. I think that's too high of an asking price for him and what he's done in his NFL career thus far. I don't think he's lived up to that first round price. For sure. Uh, and he's, he's a guy that has some drop issues. I think he'd be a great acquisition, but I think Denver's going to have to lower that asking price if they want to get a deal done. Agreed. He'd be a ma an amazing second receiver for you. Um, but yeah, obviously, they want to get a first back for him. Right. They want to redo. Um, so you say not on my watch and offer him a second. Maybe I'd go a two and a five, yeah. two and a six. I mean, I'd go a two. I'd consider the 58 for Jerry Judy, no problem. And if they want a player, I mean, would you throw in? I, I've seen a couple of Tolos say, you know, what about Jordan Lewis, who might, you know, we've discussed as a possible well, cap casualty anyway. Jordan, Jordan Lewis is still dealing with his uh, that, that injury that, that, that to Liz Frank. Yeah, I mean, he he's making some progress, but. And I like Jordan Lewis. I mean, Jordan's a good player. Yeah, but he's he, he's going to have to have a second surgery. They've got hardware they have to take out of that ankle uh, and the foot. And so it's, it's no gonna, chance a team wants him. Yeah, it's yeah. going to take some time. You probably time. wouldn't be able to pass a physical anyway. It, it, not, not right now. Not we, right now. We'd all rather have D Hop for uh, a second. Oh, I'd rounder. rather have Hopkins in a, and especially if he's willing. I mean, we know he's been working out in Dallas. He was with Des Bryant, but if he's willing to maybe adjust that deal just because he wants to be a cowboy to me that's a no-brainer move now i did do i want judy instead of hopkins you do i want just the youth. i, I, I think youth. i would too yeah because of the youth yeah see i think there's still questions about judy's game at the end of this year i'd i'd, I'd move off the gallup contract and slide judy in on that 15 million dollar a year receiver slot yeah i mean i i get everything you're saying about the age i'm kind of just in in the win now mode the problem you're running into with Judy, if you were to trade with him, his or trade for him, his contract comes at the same time as C.D. Lamb's. Yeah. yeah. So now, are, now, how are you going to negotiate that? You know, sure. especially if one at a time. Yeah, I mean, if they're like, okay, who, you know, you kind of like that staggered. Do you do you pit them against each other and say who signs first? No. Kind of a deal? Well, you know CD's no, going to get a bigger yeah, deal. I want the better player, which as of right now would be CD Lamb. If if Judy continues on this progression, he's going to hit about 75 or 80 catches this this next year. And in your offense, he would really produce. Like sure. that's in a dead offense that he got just 67 grabs last year. I think he could approach 75 or 80 and at that point it's 15, 16 million bucks. You know, and we still I, I think the Cowboys are willing to do that. If you have Gallup on this team, you're willing to pay two guys decent money. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Back to Hopkins, you know, I, I did a follow-up on that no-trade clause. He did have one in his deal, but when he got suspended last year for it the— voided, right? It voided. Yeah. So with the suspension, now he no longer has a no-trade clause, which is a little bit of a bummer because if that still was in there, he'd have a little bit more say-so and power of and dictate where he could be traded. Now Arizona could say, well, you might want to go to Dallas, but if— Cleveland, for instance, is offering us a better deal. We're going to take that. Yeah, that's the downside. But I think the silver lining is that there's been no no trade clause, and they haven't been able to find a taker for him. Yeah. So I think that market might settle in exactly where you need it. Yeah. Now, I mean, look, you, you could also get a third-round comp pick, potentially, if Judy left in free agency, to your point there, Brian. So it could also be if you weren't able to re-sign him and you just got him on your team, you were able to play that out. If you weren't able to pay him, there's a comp pick. Yeah, that's I, nice. Yeah, the thing about it is, I think that you would. It, okay, we know who's likely going to be available at twenty six. If you throw Judy into the mix with the names that you know, isn't it worth it to you to make that trade for a one? I know you don't want to give up. It's a very late one. It's a yeah. It's it a is late, a late one. It's a late one. I, I mean. Is it? It's it's not worth it to you guys. It's to, not worth it for for me. For I, look, Jerry Judy is I not think better lot, than your first tight end. Give us a three or a four back with Judy, and you can have my one. I don't think Jerry Judy's worth a first round pick. He hadn't played like that. I mean, I mean, are we just going to give around first round well, for free that, now? No, no, no. If that's if that's the case, then we shouldn't even think about the trade. If if that if that's how you feel, don't don't try and nickel and dime them. Just you know, 
Like I, I like the player. I just don't think you're. If we I think were, you're giving up too much to if, get that guy. If you were, in, but also think about this though. Who are you going to take wide receiver at twenty six? You, you hold out hope for a Jay, Jigma. who we were talking about earlier today. If Zay Flowers Five, is there, nine, 182, Zay I, I don't. Flowers? I'm not worried about the size with him. Maybe Jalen Hyatt. If Jalen Hyatt's there, I'd love that. He's my number two guy. Okay. So when what did you think about Jerry Judy when he was coming out of Alabama? I thought he was the second best receiver in that class behind CD. Yeah, me too. Me too. I I, I think there's I think there's a lot of things that's going on at Denver. And you could namely be right. namely bad quarterback play, namely guys named Locke. Yeah. And and no, Bridgewater sure. and guys like that. But the drops, that's on him, right? Sure. CD had drops too, right? He sure did. Yeah. But he fixed that. We yeah. haven't seen Judy fix it yet. I mean, I'd be interested because I like Judy. He's I'm a good just, player. I, I just I wouldn't just do it for sound, 26. You, I mean, you're absolutely right. If you're not committed to it, let's not do it. Yeah. But, I mean, look, if they want to take a second-round pick. But but you're also talking about taking a 5'9", 183-pound receiver, sure. which is fine. He's a hell of a football player. He is. He's a hell of a but football I, player. I think that might become a trend moving forward with, uh, you know, the, the size, the weight with some of these receivers. I think these smaller guys we might need to get accustomed to. And you know, not box him into all. Oh, well, we you might sure, you might have to get him. you might have to get rid of the guy that stands on the sidelines with the big play sheet call in his hand. McC you know? Yeah, McCarthy does. We know it, we know it, that he's got a standard that he likes with that. Sure. Well, but Teddy Thompson was picking players for him in Green that's Bay. That's fair. That's a good you point. Know? But and that's then, but that is a Packer thing. Yeah. They don't want to play with the small right. not a small receiver Desmond Howard. Sure. But he was a returner. Sure. He wasn't a receiver. Yeah. Everything's going to be fine at the position when they take OU's Marvin Mims, the local. I legend, love Marvin uh, in the third round, and he's also a small round. guy. But that's a guy that I think can win outside, can win inside. So you're fine with Marvin Mims.